Hi, this is a quick introduction to Scrapfly's Screenshot API. This API provides an ability to take screenshots of any website or any part of a website through Scrapfly's cloud web browsers. It's designed to be powerful and super simple to allow seamless visual data collection. In this short intro, we'll take a look at how to use it and its core capabilities through examples. The Screenshot API can be accessed in any HTTP client like curl or fetch or any HTTP library. In this video, we'll be using Python's HTTPX library, but the examples are very simple and can be replicated in any HTTP client. To start, make sure to grab your API key from the Scrapfly dashboard. Then we can set up an HTTP client with some default values. In this case, we want to increase the default timer as some screenshots can take a few seconds. Optionally, we can set the accept encoding header to gzip value to save some bandwidth. Finally, the key parameter contains your API key you retrieved from your dashboard. With that said, let's start by taking a basic screenshot. In this video, we'll be using webscripting.dev websites for our examples. To start capture, all we have to do is send a get request to the screenshot API with the URL parameter set to the page we want to capture. Here, we specify our example product page. Note here that the URL parameter needs to be URL encoded to transfer correctly. We can use the capture parameter to capture the entire page screen beyond the browser's viewport. Here, we specify capture as full page, and this captures the entire website's view rather than just the default viewport. So by default, Scrapfly captures in 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is the most common browser resolution. However, sometimes we might need to view the page in a different viewport, like that of a smartphone or a tablet. For that, we can use the resolution parameter to specify any viewport resolution. For example, if we want to capture smartphone views, we'd use something more vertical, like in this example, we're using 540 times 1200. This generates a screenshot of a smartphone view. The capture parameter can be used to capture only specific parts of the website. First, we have to identify the element using browser's developer tools. And here, we can see that the reviews are under element with ID reviews. So we can use ID review CSS selector to capture this element. To ensure that capture happens after reviews have loaded, we can also tell Scrafly to wait for this element to appear on screen using wait for selector parameter. This results in a clean capture of only the data that interests us. Next, some pages can be very dynamic and difficult to capture visually. For that, Screenshot API runs a full real web browser that can execute custom JavaScript code. This can be used to click buttons or trigger other events. Here, we're using JavaScript to click the load more reviews button to load all reviews before we capture the screenshot. Note that the JavaScript code has to be URL safe base64 encoded to correctly transfer data to Scrapfly. For pages that require scrolling, the auto scroll parameter can be used to scroll the browser to the bottom of the page. This is a great tool for capturing endless paging elements like the example below. Here we can see that the auto scroll feature scrolled the page to the very bottom, which has loaded all of the items on the page. The options parameter can be used to apply common convenience modifiers, like closing cookie banners and anything that blocks the actual website view. For this, the block banner option can be used, which will remove the view blocking banners and models. Here, the block banners option removes the cookie banner before capturing the screenshot. Another popular option is the dark mode option, which will apply dark team settings for any page if possible. Here, we can see that our product page has been captured in dark mode. Just like the web scripting API, the screenshot API supports caching. The cache parameter can be used to store screenshot results on Scrapfly servers. Then, any repeated requests will return the results from the cache rather than scraping them live. This makes it a great tool for implementing Scrapfly directly with high volume applications. Finally, there is a web player on Scrapfly's dashboard which you can use to try out all of these examples yourself. You can also see a GitHub link in the description for the examples used in this video.